Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. Questioning everything. That is the topic today. Questioning everything. Okay, so you have been here. Here, as in where I'm at right this very moment energetically. You have been at a place where things just feel hard. Like, life doesn't feel that fun anymore. I think it's a little deeper than that. Life feels more than overwhelming. I'm talking beyond the empath stuff, you know, the way you were born as a clairsentient being, feeling, sensing, very psychic, very intuitive and in tune. But, you know, you've ignored all that. And society has told you and family of origin, religion, culture, etc., has given you different playbooks for how you should live as a beautiful, spiritual, soulful being of light in a human, heavy body, bumping around into other humans and trying to navigate or manage these strange rules, and yet many rules that sometimes are conflicting and layer upon layer upon layer of confusion often ensues. (sighs) take a breath with me, just take a breath. It's kind of humorous if you think about it. We get to these intersections and it's not a T in the road. It's not a fork in the road. There's not a clear decision to be made here. We are at a place right now where we are feeling into our lives And sometimes we get to these points where we feel into our lives and ask questions and wonder how, not the how did I get here question, but the how, how do I do this? How can I recommit or reconnect or recalibrate life based on my my feeling, the way I'm feeling right now, how can I recalibrate energy to line up in a perspective that gives me freedom in my flow, freedom in my feeling, freedom of uplifting energy, of inspiring energy, of empowering energy? How can I get that? There are many times when we experience good times. We feel good. Oftentimes they're circumstantial, like some good news arrives or we get uh, something new happens to us that is exciting or interesting or provides us with opportunity and we feel like so much hope in that moment based on that condition. Often those conditions are surrounded by opportunities or opportunities that we haven't actually seen that weren't obviously visible or overtly visible. If you watch the pathway up until that point, that moment when you actually feel good, there are many, many, many stepping stones of opportunity, choice points, deeper commitment points, deeper connectors that we have chosen to receive. And I believe that it's the receiving, the opportunities that we choose to engage within ourselves, through ourselves, our own root systems, and recognizing that our own root systems are not keeping us stuck in old patterning, old belief systems, but that our root system is intended to provide networks of possibility and opportunity and connection deep down through ourselves, our soulful, spiritual selves. I'm at a point where I feel like I'm at an intersection. It looks like a big plus sign. I've been here before many times. In fact, I would often say in my psychic ways, oh, I'm clearing, usually after a full moon, right before a retrograde, some magnetic energy shift or solar flare affecting many of us who are in tune, whether you even know that that's exactly maybe what the little extra burst of energy that kind of pushed you off your path, which can be cosmic, by the way, universal, etc. But we're not looking to blame or use scapegoat. In fact, rather the opposite. Isn't it true that you are here right now feeling as you are questioning absolutely everything about your life because 
you feel you are to blame. You are the center. You are the responsible one. You are the one who reacts or doesn't react. You are the one who makes the decision or makes a different decision. You are the one that chooses. Therefore, there's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of heavy energy around the right choice or the adjustment of your course, as it were. This heavy energy, this this energy of choice is deeply connected to blame. And I feel it and I see it. This fear of making a wrong decision, a bad choice, which results in a affirmation of continued patterns of self-doubt, an affirmation of, see, I'm not enough. See, I'm not worthy. See, I'm not valuable enough. We get evidence based on this blame that is connected to our choice. And in these moments, like right now at this plus sign intersection, I can keep going straight. I can keep moving forward while at the same time, each step working on myself, not because I'm broken or bad or imperfect, because I'm all of those things. I am also good and pure and light. We are all and. It is, it is hard to remember that. So I'm going to remind you today. If you're feeling like you're in that intersection, just move ahead, inch ahead, just a little bit. It's like you're stuck in traffic. It's okay. It's okay. You don't have to be farther along. You don't have to be, you should be here by now. But this and that, the other thing. That's a blame energy. That doesn't help you. It's, it hurts. It connects to hurt, self-doubt, belittlement, self-sabotage, negative, negative, bad, bad, negative. You can acknowledge that these feelings exist. It's not about pushing them away. It's about recognizing and then recommitting to a deeper connection of who you are, which is good and filled with hope and positive. And that is through your spirit portal, the energy of your solar plexus, your intuition, your spiritual beingness, your energy isn't just feeling bombarded, isn't just feeling overwhelmed. It's also feeling a sense of desire for kindness, for compassion, for the sweetest, most obvious form of connection. And that is within yourself. It's hard to want to connect with yourself if you don't like yourself. And it's easy to misunderstand all this energy as dislike for self or as ill will or poor feelings about yourself. It's easy to get taken down energetically. You're human. You're human. Find your footing. Find your grounding. The ground beneath your feet. That's what grounding means. The earth is beneath your feet. Breathe in. Exhale out. Know this. It's okay to question everything. When I get bombarded by these feelings of nothing is working, like I work so hard, why is this not working out? I'm clearly focusing on the wrong things. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Do you feel like that? What am I doing wrong? Why am I doing this to myself? Why am I working so hard and it's not paying off? What is wrong here? I must be doing the wrong things. Maybe I don't belong here. Maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Maybe I, maybe I have to change. Maybe I have to quit. Maybe I have to start again. All of these questioning things are a way that I am letting my feelings out. I'm getting the, the, the feelings that feel overwhelming and heavy and negative out of my system. When I say them out loud, they sound ridiculous. Maybe I should quit? What? Quit what? What am I going to quit? Life purpose? Living a life of meaning? Helping people? What am I going to quit? Being a parent? Being a mother? That, it doesn't work like that. So it sounds ridiculous. It sounds completely ridiculous. So if I go back to this premise of what I 
I deeply desire is a connection that is gentle and genuine and pure and through myself, to my life, through my feet, through my roots, not old belief systems, not other people's opinions, not I want this from you, I need that from you. Everyone is willing to give you a viewpoint or opinion on you because they don't want to work on themselves. Or if they've tried to work on themselves, it's not working out so well. So it's really easy to look at other people and have judgment. And I know because I do that too. It's easy for me to focus outward on my kids and their decisions or other people I care about and their problems instead of allowing myself to root deeply into my core, my power. Questioning everything is a way for me to push out the voices that are not my own, the words, the thoughts, the energies of the past, whether it be this lifetime, other lifetimes. Let's just focus on this lifetime, okay? That's enough to handle, you empath you, than to be dealing with some past life stuff. You can move and shift energy super easy if you ask your healing helpers, your spiritual support team to assist you. I often will recommend to clients before you go to bed at night, ask Archangel Metatron to realign you. Metatron is a wonderful, brilliant, energetic chiropractor. He helps me all the time to help realign my energy so that I have that connection through my feet to my path. It's not one thing. When we question and you start to question everything, it helps you, it can help you to realize, okay, it can be your sign that it's not about, it's not a time to make a choice or go deeper, double down into the decision making process and do more research. It's a time to just sit, be here, feel your feet where you're at on your path and recommit to your path your purpose. No decision needs to be made here. Just a recognition that there is a desire within you for connection. That's why you're questioning everything. The connection comes through yourself, not through outside sources, not through social networks or friend groups or colleges or or religious places, not through those places. Through yourself first, and then you can shine your light. And through your own internal connection, then you can be a great connector energetically and positively support all of the places where you are part of a group, part of a a collective, part of a collaborative group effort that helps a collective energy group or grid. So you see... Being right here in this little plus size, little plus intersection here doesn't mean we have to change course. We do not have to change course right now. It means that we have an opportunity to feel the feelings, to acknowledge the thoughts, to recognize how ridiculous some of the questions are that are coming forward to be released and revealed and moved out so that we can be more clear and have more clarity so we can plug in directly into our core source inside of us. Listen to the voice of the captain, (laughs) okay? Not the people or the passengers on the ship, okay? Listen to the voice of the captain. You are the captain. You are. Duly elected, by the way, and hard earned. Mm -hmm. You are the expert of yourself. You are the subject matter expert here. You are the leader. No pressure intended. Just obvious, obvious, so obvious, So as we connect today and we step in, I am feeling lots of different energy, divergent energy, energy of springtime and the equinox and the change of the seasons, energy of, of a holiday coming up, of, of the Easter holiday coming up, energy of the change in our health status potentially. Still waiting on that for myself, but we'll see what happens here as time goes forward and change as in the end of the school year is coming. I have one kid that's graduating. I have another kid that took a semester off college. I have a lot. There's a lot of things that are unfolding, shifting and changing. And that beginning of change is happening right now. We're at the very end of a month. As I'm recording this, you'll receive this at the start of a month, most likely this audio. But this is all conducive to the shifting just the choices that we make 
that lead us to where we're at, we have to stop here now, pause for a moment at the intersection. There is a stoplight. Stop here so that you can get your bearings straight, connect in through your feet, your roots, your path, your path. It's yours. You're the one with the two feet. You're walking. Nobody else can live your life for you. Oh, people will try and you will try to give away your power many times. I have done that myself too, because it feels so much easier to trust somebody else who seems like they know so much more than you about anything, about your health, about your body, about your brain about some subject that you really want to learn about. And there's some expert. I mean, everybody seems to just know so much more than you. Now we value information, of course, but we need to value intuition and understand that your primary instincts have led you to this point and all that you have accumulated along the way is valuable information. But you don't have to rehash it, relive it. You don't have to use it to beat yourself up to prevent future mishaps because you're going to make mistakes as you move through this process of living. You're going to. It's natural. That's how you learn. That's how you learn to recommit, to reconnect back into your path. There's not one answer here. There's an evolving process. And you're in it. You're living. Remember that when you feel good, it's the result of multiple stepping stones along the way where you've had opportunities and options of choice, small points to reconnect with yourself, to treat yourself a little nicer, to recognize the energy of overwhelm that's coming through as a stressor, and it feels like a big trigger to you, and you really want to deflect and be angry externally about something. Remember that while life sometimes can feel like it is happening to you, like it's coming at you, like bugs on a windshield on a road trip, right? Just at you, at you, at you, at you, at you. It can totally feel like that. I know because I feel like that. I totally get that. But that's not the truth of the perspective that we are, we can have. We can choose a different perspective, not the bugs on the windshield. We can choose to focus on the fact that we're journeying on this road trip. We're going somewhere. We're on a destination. We're heading toward a cool destination. We are moving and that's why things are being revealed to us. And it feels like they're coming at us because we're moving forward. We're moving through. So life is not happening to you. It's happening through you. And it's unfolding before you. And as you are moving... It can sometimes appear that it is coming at you, but you are moving through it. Do you see? The perception is just different. So the questioning everything state is an opportunity to recommit and to reconnect within yourself. Ah, deep breath. So that is where we are today. That is where we're meeting here for Sunday morning coffee. That's deep. And now I think my coffee is a little cold because I think, (laughs) let me just have a sip here. Mm, Yeah, a little bit. Might have to heat that up a little bit, but it's really good coffee. Really good. And I have it in, in an inspired mug, my hope mug, my purple hope mug. So I hope in your heart of hearts that you feel a bit more inspired by this perspective that I've shared with you here about this questioning everything point and all the little nuggets of symbolism and metaphor that I've dropped in to this talk today for you. Grab your journal out and go back and re-listen to it. Hopefully it will give you some more perspective for a better footing and inspiration inspiration for your spirit because you deserve it and you need it. We need it right here and right now. No matter when you listen to this episode, just know that it is exactly in alignment with whatever you need today. This is Bridget. Thanks so much for listening to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget posted on Above Life channel on YouTube. Don't be shy and make sure you connect with me on social media at Bridget Inspired Instagram, Bridget Inspired on Facebook, and my other YouTube channel, a little more casual channel, a vlogging and intuitive channel, Fairy Grasshopper.